Cause all the other gods, they are the works of men. Only you, my king, you are the most high God. All the other gods, they are the works of men, but only you, my King, you are the most high God. We say all the other gods, they are the works of men, only you. There's no other king but you, Lord.
give him praise, hallelujah. And I worship you with all my heart, with all my heart, and I Oh
Do better than that, give the Lord a hand of worship, His Word to be glorified. Thank you, Father. Ali ko itam, Ali nadi
Jesus, we bless you, God. We bless you, God. We bless your name, oh God. Thank you, Father. Come and now, then these we need. These only who banjal on death. These only cool. Zeli tu me zuelonke. Ingo memna denti zueni. Di zoli hu manja onje. Di zoli kula. Zeli tu me. Well, okay, Jesus, we come appeal, Jesus, Lona lina manda Jesu poshailo ikamala koli te malibangwe zweni lo ke
lift me up from the deep miry clay and you planted my feet on the king's highway and that is the reason I sing it Hello, hallelujah, hallelujah, bless amen, bless viewers, I will bring you love, we bring you greetings, greetings to you all, I uh, will greet you all dear wonderful blessed viewers from all over the world, wherever you are, you are highly welcome, you are highly blessed, welcome to our Thursday online ministration, it is of course the last Thursday of the year 2021, uh, there will never be another one like this. I'm telling you, uh, from tomorrow, uh, Friday being the last day of the year 2021, it's going to be a new day, and it's a new dawn, and it's a new era. And we will be ushering, uh, uh, the grace of God will be ushering us into uh, 2022. Uh, we welcome you all, blessed viewers, uh, 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 my brothers and sisters from all over the world, be greeted with love of the Father. Uh, we bring you love from our beloved Father, uh, our mentor, our leader, Papa Lesteko Dane, uh, uh, whom we've come uh, to uh, be, uh, be bestowed upon by, by the grace of God. Uh, and through, through this gospel, through this word, uh, he became our father, he became our shepherd, he became our spiritual our father, our spiritual mentor. Uh, uh, we thank God for, uh, for his life. As we thank God for your life, blessed saints from all over the world, uh, whichever continent, uh, whichever city that you are in at the moment, uh, you are highly welcome. Be greeted. Uh, uh, let's go into, into the intercession prayer uh, as we cannot wait to hear what the Spirit of God has prepared for us today. Uh, as you are aware that we are uh, by some hours, uh, an hour late down our usual time, but um, we, want, we equally like to stay uh, uh, all things happen for the good of the glory of the Father. Uh, uh, all things happen for the glory of the Father. And we thank God for, for, for this moment. Uh, we thank God for this hour. We thank God for this present time that we are together. Uh, for this is the time and the moment that the Lord God Almighty has made uh, for us and you and we all to fully rejoice and be glad in it. So let's come together. Uh, blessed saints, blessed viewers, wherever, wherever you are. Let's come together and let's uh, come together and let's pray. Uh, let's pray according to the will of the Father. Uh, uh, it, it is, listen to this. It pleased God to allow his fullness to dwell within us. Meaning God intended for his fullness to live in among us. That's why God made our, our heart his dwelling place. That's why God leaves his throne and come into the heart of a man to dwell in there. Because it pleases him. The, the, it, are you pleased that God dwells within you? Are you pleased that God desire and God intention is to, uh, uh, to give you a better life, to prosper you, not to harm you? Then you will pray according to the will and to the command. You will pray according to the command that the Lord God Almighty has given. Jesus said, uh, in Matthew 28, it says, all authority has been given unto him. Every authority. There is no limitation to, to such authority. Nothing limits such authority. Say, all authority has been bestowed unto him. Meaning, so whatsoever, whatsoever he says, whatsoever he speaks, whatsoever he declares, however he says it, it becomes it. That's why Jesus said, Jesus said, go ye into the world. As the Father has come to go and multiply, he has come to multiply you. He has come that you will bear fruit, fruit of the Father, fruit of the one that sent him. Noah, 
No one sees the presence of God. Yet it could not bear. It could not bear the fruits of the spirit. It could not bear the fruit that God intended for him to bear. But God said to Noah in Genesis now, I said, be fruitful, be multiplied. And if you understand the meaning of Noah, Noah means to save. So it was Noah who was intending to save us. But Noah couldn't. He went back to eat the toy from the ground. He went back to the toy from the ground. So Abraham got that to the sky and Abraham came in. Abraham came in and Abraham, true obedience, became the friend. True trusting, true trusting. Remember, Abraham did not receive Holy Spirit, nor did, this, nor did Abraham saw the presence that Noah's, Noah witnessed. But Abraham obediency, Abraham obediency led him to meet and allow, uh, 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 to welcome, to welcome, to welcome the God, the Father himself and dine. His obediency I, I ushered him to dine with the Father. So we have been commanded to keep praying, to pray with us in 1 Thessalonians 5, 16, 17, 18. It's a command. It's a command that was given to Apostle Paul. Pray with us season. Do not pray when things are going right. Do not pray when things are going wrong. Say pray with us season. So we don't pray seasonal prayer. Listen, it is season greeting. Season greeting. The season, the greeting may be seasonal. Uh, uh, the, the greetings may be seasonal because it's season greeting. No, we are not season greeters. We are not season greeters. We, 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 we pray accordingly. We pray daily. We pray without season. Not season prayers. Not season intercessors. We are not intercessors that only intercede on, 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 week, on weekly basis. No, but on daily basis. This is a command. Go ye into the world. Whoever welcomes you has welcomed me. Whoever received you have received me. Whoever say I to you have said I to the Father. So they went. And they came back rejoicing. They came back rejoicing that Jesus had to remind them, when I send you out, did I send you with any money? Did you lack anything? There was nothing lacking. They, did not, they were not sent with money. But the world that was sending them had already gone ahead of them. So Moses was given the command in the presence of God. Noah was given a command in the presence of God. Still, Noah went to the ground. What was he doing in the ground? What was he doing in the ground? The ground that had already been caused, what was he doing in the ground? That's why whatever came out of his mouth was just a cause. So there comes the Father, and Jesus came. Matthew 9, I have come to those who, who desire mercy. God, Jesus desire mercy. So it is the grace that we must receive in order for us to multiply and in order for us to become fruitful. In order for us to enter into the command of the Father. Listen, the command was given to Adam. The command was given to Noah. Now Jesus came to fulfill that command. He did not come to abolish it. He came to fulfill it. And how can we fulfill it? And how can we make what Jesus came to fulfill come into realization? True obedience to true obedience. 
So every time we come together and we intercede for nation, we are multiplying. Because someone who come across the prayer receive a deliverance. Someone who come across the prayer receive a breakthrough. Someone who come across the prayer receive fruitfulness. Because every word has its action. Every word has its deed. Every word that is spoken is life itself and is active. So whenever it's spoken, it becomes active in the life of those who are king and who hears it. So right now we're going to pray. Whatever you are, whatever you are, distance is not an issue. It has never been an issue and it will not become one now. Be encouraged and join us as we are going to hold it. We may be here, you may be over there, but we are together in spirit. We are together, we are forever together in oneness with the Father, holding him together, praying to the Father according to the will of the Master. So right now, join us as we pray together. What are we interceding for? The prayer remains the same, because the prayer is the same as yesterday. It is the same. The world never changed. We are interceding for nations, for leaders, for presidents, for those in the position of authority. We are interceding. We are interceding for those. We are equally interceding. We are equally interceding for those in hospitals, those who face all kinds of challenges in hospitals. Those that are sick in their body. Those that are facing all kinds of challenges health-wise. Those that are facing challenges, financial issues. Many of them run, run around, running enter scatters, seeking help where there is no help because there is no word that has gained interest. Many of them can hear, but which word? Which one are they listening to? So we equally intercede for families that are going through all kinds of issues. We equally pray for those who are having issues in their marriages and pray for those who have issues with addictions. As we know, many, many are battling with addiction. Many are going through all form of issues in, with addictions. And they can only be rescued through prayer. And remember this, the prayer of a righteous person saves life. Because the prayer of righteous saves life. The prayer of saints saves life. So let's pray the prayer of saints right now. Let's pray a righteous prayer. Let's pray our, our intercessor prayer, lovers' prayers, just as Jesus did for us. And Jesus said, do unto me, do to unto others as I did unto you. So let's, uh, let's, let's do and practice the command of the Father. So join us as we pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we give you thanks. We give you honor, we give you glory, we give you adoration. We lift your name above all names, Abba Father. We thank you for this day, we thank you for this evening. We thank you for this meeting, Abba Father. We thank you for your grace, we thank you for your presence in this meeting, Abba Father. We thank you as many that have been with us here, Lord God Almighty. So let your word come into their heart, let your word come into their mind, let your word penetrate into their being in the mighty name of this Christ. Let your word be revealed unto them. Let this message be made unto them. Let it be made known to them, Lord God Almighty. Let it speak into their heart. Let it speak into their mind, Lord God Almighty. We intercede for leaders from all over the world, leaders from different countries, leaders from different countries, Lord God Almighty. Those that are placed in the position of authority, Abba Father, for we know authority only comes from you, only by through you, oh Lord God Almighty. Those that are being placed here, Lord God Almighty, we strengthen them with our word. 
We penetrate their heart, we penetrate their mind, we penetrate every meeting, every meeting that has been done in the secret, we penetrate it, we penetrate it with the word of the soul of the spirit, Lord, Lord Almighty, and we come against rulers, we come against spirit of rulers, spirit of rulers, we come against spirits of rulers and principality, waging war against those in the person of authority. We declare your glory, we declare your righteousness, Abba Father. We say, Blessed be your only name in the mighty name of this place. We pray for those in the hospital. We declare your glory upon their body will say it is over with that sickness, it is over with that infirmity, it is over with that disease. Those that are being mad with COVID pandemic virus, we say it is over with church in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We say it is over with Omicron, we say it is over with COVID 19 pandemic. Your grace has come, your ever sufficient grace has come upon our body, upon our flesh. Those that are sick in their body, as we declare your glory, as we declare your word, your word penetrates into every hospital, into every home. Searching those that are sick in the body, searching those that are mad with COVID-19, setting their body free, setting them free from all viruses, setting them free from all bacteria in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for those that are suffering from all kinds of addiction, those that addiction continue to wage war against. Lord God Almighty, we present them before you and we declare your unfailing glory upon their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Your glory set them free from that addiction. Your glory set them free from that addiction that continue to make them a public center, a public spectacle before people. Many have been laughing at them. Many have been making a more grief out of them. Lord God Almighty, we surrender them to you. We present them before you. We say, let your glory overshadow them. Let your glory overshadow them. It is sober with every form of addiction. Alcohol addiction, drug addiction, sexual immorality addiction. We say, it is over. Your grace has come to set them free. Your grace has, has come to bring them into the light. The light, the light of God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray for restoration of our families, restoration of our homes in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those homes and those families that are being infested, all kind of issues, every device issue, Lord God Almighty, we declare your glory. We declare your grace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We say it's over with every ancestral lineage in the mighty name of this place. Family that, that kept going into ancestral lineage, Lord God Almighty, we, we declare your glory, we declare your light. Exposed such as in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We separate those that you have chosen, those that you have brought into the light, that there is no kingdom, there is no kingdom that can surpass the light of glory of God. Shatatalibra Pushte, Elebradura Lushte, Kitalura Ande, Shibradura, Shebradushke, Shetalusha, Tikalura Ande, Elebradura, Elebradushka, Elisha Kuta Librande, Zibra Pushte, Litakura Ata, Ikalalura, Ikatalushte, Ele. We thank you, King of Glory. We thank you, Abba Father. We thank you, Abba Father. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We give you all the glory, O Lord. We give you all the honor, Abba Father. Blessed be your only name, Abba Father. Blessed be your only name, King of Glory. King of Glory. King of glory, King of glory, King of glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's pray for Jesus Christ. Let's clap for the master. Amen. The 
Amen, hallelujah. Once again, I'd like to welcome each and every one of you. Thank you so much, those that are on Zoom. Thank you so much, uh, Bro Stanley. Thank you so much, Rakolin. Uh, Sister Divine Mat Mata. Thank you so much. Uh, we love you. We love you. Thank you so much. Uh, those on Facebook, uh, we thank you so much. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you for, uh, for being with us. Thank you for praying for us. Uh, thank you for praying with us. Uh, thank you for allowing the Spirit of God to, to uh, pray through you uh, and ministering to every assembly from all over the world, those that are facing every issues in their body, in their lives. Uh, we thank you for allowing the Spirit of God to speak to them through you. Many are being saved. Many are being brought into the kingdom of light, uh, to the kingdom of God. Uh, we bless God for this great, great uh, 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 fellowship. We thank God for this great uh, moment and this great time with him because in his presence, there is fullness. Uh, in his presence, there is liberty. And in his presence, uh, there is a, a freedom from all manner of captivity. And we are saying every yoke of captivity in your life before now has been lifted from your life. Every burden and every worries has been lifted off your shoulders. Every consign that you are thinking before now, they are all a thing of the past. For the Lord of glory has come, the light, the light of God, the word of the Lord itself has located you from all corners of your life, from the very rooftop of where you are. Even if you're not in any rooftop, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, causing your body to prosper just as your soul prospers. It is the Lord of glory that is at work. So we give God all the glory. That's why we will never stop appreciating him. That's why we will never stop singing of his high praises. We continue to sing of his high praise. For he is worthy of our worship. He is worthy of our He alone is worthy of all of it all. So uh, we thank God, blessed viewers. Uh, once again, uh, we, we love you. And we say be greeted with the love of the Father. I will not take much of your time, blessed viewers. Do not forget that tomorrow. Uh, it's the 31st and uh, uh, the last day of the year before we say happy 2022. Uh, we'll be live tomorrow. Uh, we'll be starting from, from past two, three, thereabout. Uh, I think from past two, as you know, we'll be uh, praying, praying uh, at, at, um, at, the, at the house of Rabboni from five. Uh, so uh, we'll be starting from three. Uh, we'll be praying from three. And uh, uh, from three, we'll be declaring uh, what's what's uh, uh, the message for 2022? Uh, I believe so. Uh, and uh, from five, who we'll join uh, uh, at the house of the Father? Uh, all men, uh, we are all men. All men, you are a man, you are a boy, wherever. Just join, join via Zoom, and let's pray together. Let's continue to pray. It's one prayer. We continue with the prayer until seven. Uh, when our father will come in and uh, usher us in, uh, uh, into 2022 uh, properly, uh, I, I believe uh, I believe uh, uh, um, uh, 2022 is going to be a wonderful year for 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 everyone, 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 uh, everyone, uh, everyone that is known with good will receive the good. Everyone that is known with the bad will receive with the bad. It's an error of judgment. I mean, no one will escape what is about to come. So uh, the grace of God is out there, and the grace of God is there. Uh, uh, but I listen to this. You are blessed because of the grace of God is within you. It lives in within you. So you are already blessed. Uh, so there is no need for you to begin to panic. No, 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 no. There is no need for you to begin to say, is it judgment coming to you? No. Just relax. Because why? You are already chosen. You did not choose him. He chose you. You are already of his life. And you continue to stand upon what you know and what you trust and what you believe. Listen, Noah saw, but Noah could not understand or, or, or uh, uh, see uh, to reason what he perceived. He went back to eat, toil from the ground. He went back to toil from the ground. Even have not seen in the presence of the Father. That's why Jesus would say, I, I, I only do what I see in my Father. That's why you say, Apostle Paul say, I do, I see, I, I do what I see in the master. I, 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 I cannot do what, what, what has not imprisoned me. I do as the world will imprison me. So it became, it became, it was made a prisoner without his trust. It was made a prisoner so that he will serve and do as the master does. That's why you see also Timothy becoming like him. That's why wherever Timothy is, and if he's not there, it's, it will be like as if he is the one that is there. 
Why? Timothy saved him wholeheartedly. Timothy became his bond servant. So do not be afraid. Uh, do, not be, do, do not blush to testify about me. <laughs> because if you testify about me, you are testifying about the one who imprisoned me. The word. So I'm a bond servant. So that, so that Noah saw what they went and ate from the ground. So I will the command of Genesis 9, chapter 1. Is that there was a command there. There was a command there. There are some things that many people do that if they, 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 if the moment they do not understand God, they want to make God a liar. But Numbers 23, verse 19 says, God is not a man that he should lie. Neither a son of man that he should repent. It is a command. Be fruitful and be multiplied. Replenish through obedience. You cannot, you cannot receive the gift of Holy Spirit if there is no obedience. Yeah, there is no. And if there is no obedience, you cannot bet spirit. You can only bet flesh. So now, Abraham, true obedience. Oh, the promised child. It could have been Moses. It could have been Noah. It is very important for people to trust and hold on. Trust and hold on to the command of the Father. God is a reward at each command of the Father. That's why when God speaks, God always examine the heart of the listeners. God always examine the heart of the of the listeners. Because he is the word himself. How will you welcome this word? Because you cannot, you cannot become fruitful if you're not good at listening. You can only multiply that disobedience. And when you, when you multiply disobedience, you are causing people. Robbing them of the true joy they were supposed to attain from you. Okay. Jeremiah 17. Cause is the word. Already, cause, cause, already, cause is there. Now, now, you went on, now you begin to depend on someone that is already cause. It's like when somebody is heaping trailer load upon trailer load, and you find the trailer can hardly drive because the load is too much. The trailer is sinking dead. The driver is forcing, accelerating, but the trailer is not moving. The load is too much. The heap of the load becomes too much, becomes too heavier. The heap of the load becomes too heavier for, 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 the, for, the, for the truck itself. The driver is, is trying all he, all he could to move it forward, but it's not moving. But in obedience, it is no longer you who carry the load. He carried the load for you. When Abraham obeyed, Abraham worried was taken off. Because Abraham knew that he is, he is the giver of life. He is the taker of life. If he said, I should go and sacrifice my prom the promised child whom he gave 
Meaning there's, meaning there's nothing he cannot do because he's the one who gave. He remember, he recalled how, how his wife laughed. <coughs> and God has to say, is there anything too difficult for me to do? Is there anything too difficult? Abraham did not say anything. Abraham did not doubt. It was Sarah who was laughing. That's why God gave, gave her laughter. Abraham never doubted. Abraham believed. He never doubted. And he never, and he never knew. He never knew what God knew that the wife was planning. That the wife already had a plan in motion. So God was telling, that plan you had in motion, it's not my plan. But I will allow it. It's not my plan. My plan for you will happen at my own time, at my own will. So now it had to happen because Sarah did not believe. And when you do not believe God, this thing comes in. You see, it comes in. It is not uh, like our father, like our father teach, uh, teaches us that it is not when one when goes to lie, when goes to steal, or to commit whatever. It's not when that person is saying no. Sin is when you disbelieve. Sin is when you disbelieve. Everything that follows is a fruit. Because when the enemy tempted Adam through Eve, Adam believed. If Adam had not believed, Adam would, Adam would descend who was speaking through Eve. Adam would have descended because he believed. Many people, many people go go and say, "Oh, ah, man of God, ah, this, this is, um, ah, this is this." No, you believe when you are saying this. You believe when you are saying that. And because you believe now, your mindset is already affected. And it's what you perceive in your mind is what now becomes fruitful. Because, because an affected mind now begins to bear worry. You see, worry now begins to beget worry. Circumstances now begin to beget circumstances. Sickness now begins to beget sickness. Let's quickly open to the book of... Uh, 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 Genesis chapter 9. Eh? Genesis chapter 9. Eh? Start from verse 1. Eh? We read from the book of Genesis chapter 9 from mm -hmm. verse 1. Mm -hmm. And God pronounced a blessing upon Noah and his sons mm -hmm. and said to them, Be fruitful, Be fruitful and, multiply, and multiply and fill the earth. And fill the earth. Mm -hmm. And the fear of few. Mm -hmm. And the dread and terror of you shall be upon every beast of the land, mm -hmm. every bird of the air, mm -hmm. all that creeps upon the ground, mm -hmm. and upon all the fish of the sea, mm -hmm. they are delivered into your hand. Into your hand. Verse 3. Mm -hmm. Every moving thing that uh, lives shall be food for you. So mm -hmm. And as I gave you the green vegetables and plants, I give you everything. Mm -hmm. Verse 4. Mm -hmm. But you shall not eat flesh with the life of it, which mm -hmm. is its blood. Mm -hmm. And surely for your life blood, I will require an accounting mm -hmm. from every beast I will require it. Mm -hmm. And from men, from every man who spills another man's blood, mm -hmm. I will require a reckoning. Mm -hmm. Whoever sheds man's blood by man, mm -hmm. shall his blood be shed. Mm -hmm. For in the image of God he made them. Mm -hmm. Verse 7, uh. and you be fruitful and uh. multiply. Uh. Bring forth abundantly on the earth and multiply on it. Uh. Then God spoke to Noah and to his sons with him, saying, Behold, I establish my covenant or pledge with you uh. and with your descendants after uh. you and with every living uh. creature that is with you 
whether the birds, the livestock, or the wild beasts of the earth, along with you, as many as came out of the ark, every animal of the earth, I will establish my covenant of pledge with you. Never again shall all flesh be cut off by the waters of the flood. <coughs> Neither shall there ever again be a flood to destroy the earth and make it corrupt. Mm -hmm. Verse 12. Mm -hmm. And God said, this is the token of a covenant, mm -hmm. a solemn pledge which I am making between me and you mm -hmm. and every living creature that is with you mm -hmm. for all future generations. Mm -hmm. I set my bow, my rainbow in the cloud and it shall be a token or sign of a covenant or solemn pledge between me and the earth. Mm -hmm. And it shall be that when I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow is seen in the clouds, mm -hmm. I will earnestly remember my covenant I will earnestly remember my mm -hmm. or solemn pledge, mm -hmm. which is between me and you and every living creature mm -hmm. of all flesh. Mm -hmm. And the, wet, the waters will no more become a flood to destroy and make all flesh corrupt. Verse 16. When the rainbow is in the clouds and I look upon it, I will earnestly remember the everlasting covenant of pledge between God and every living creature of all flesh that is upon the earth. Verse 17. And God said to Noah, this rainbow is the token or sign of the covenant yeah, or solemn pledge, yeah. which I have established between me and all flesh upon the earth. The sons of Noah who went forth from the earth were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Ham was the father of Canaan, born later. These are the three sons of Noah, and from them the whole earth has overspread. And shocked with inhabitants. <clears throat> and shocked with what? And shocked with inhabitants. Inhabitants. Verse 20. Mm. And Noah began to cultivate the ground. And Noah and now began to cultivate the ground. Uh -huh. And he planted a vineyard. And he planted a vineyard. Uh -huh. And he drank of the wine. And he drank of the wine. And became drunk. And he became drunk. As he was uncovered mm -hmm. and lay naked in his uh -huh. tent. And him. The father of Canaan uh, glanced at and saw the nakedness of his father and told his two brothers outside. So Shem and Japheth took a, a garment, laid it upon the shoulders of both, and went backwards and covered the nakedness of their father. Mm. And their faces were backward, and mm. they did not see their father's yes, nakedness. Mm. Verse 24. Yes. When Noah awoke from his wine yeah. and knew the thing which his younger son had done, to just him. just hold on there. How did he knew what the younger son did? How did he knew? How did Noah knew? How did he come into realization that the younger son has seen him naked? And how did he get to the level that he that had that received a covenant? In the presence of Almighty, he received a, a covenant. Yet, went to the ground to cultivate, to toil from the ground. What was he doing there? Was it the covenant that he received from God? Was it the covenant he received from God? That wasn't the covenant he received from Almighty God. Yet he decided to do his own. That's why he got drunk. And in his drunkenness, as you all know, people who get drunk, they begin to tell you things. People who get drunk, when they begin to speak, people begin to say, how come this man knows what he's saying, even though he's drunk? How come this man speaks so well? How come this man is speaking deep things, even in his drunkenness? How did Noah came to knew about who saw him nakedness, who saw him nakedness? And you know, 
since Noah went and torn in the ground, cause already, cause that was in the ground, cause that God has laid in the ground, that he toiled from, was what he carried. That's why when he spoke, he cause, cause came out of his mouth, not life. Not life. Now, remember, from verse one, God says, be fruitful and God, be multiplied. That's a command. That is a command. That is a command. And that command did happen. Now, the fulfilling of that command as God gave in Genesis 1, 26, is the same as Jesus coming to fulfill that command. So they were unable to multiply as God intended them to. That's why God has to come in his son. And his son has to come and show us and how we can be fruitful and how we can multiply. This grace must be multiplied. When one begins to carry this grace on his head and say, this grace was bestowed on to me. You begin to understand. You are carrying costs, not even grace. I love our father, Paul Lesekodade. When you see Lesekodade across the world, you see Lesekodade across continents, across cities, across nations. Yet it's one spirit, not two spirits, not three spirits, one spirit at work, same time, just as, as our Philip was everywhere. Philip was everywhere. After he received the same spirit, after he received the same grace, after the same grace came upon, and how did that grace come upon Philip? When Peter and John, when they heard there was commotion, they had to go and share. Why? Yeah. John chapter 1. Out of his fullness, we receive a share, an inheritance. Out of him, we receive to multiply, to bear fruit. So when they were not doing that, Jesus was not satisfied with them. He had to come and pay them a visit to remind them of the covenant we had, which was love. And love that bound us together, meaning you should share love and do love and produce also love. You love me, but you're not producing love. What are you producing? You love me, you are not multiplying love. What are you multiplying? You love me, you are not showing love. What are you showing? So you have to remind them. And he spoke to the one who is always ahead of others in terms of showing this love. In terms of committing love. Do you love me? Then feed my people, multiply. Multiply this grace. Multiply this love. Let this love be seen. Let people have hunger and desire for this. Let people who thought they knew you, let them see the Christ in you. By so doing, you are also multiplying the Christ in them. Because now, how come this person, how come this woman of God, how come she's so like this? But I, I used to know her. How come when she speaks, as she speaks, she's always communicating. She's always speaking. She's always revealing. How? Oh, I want to be like this woman. Without you even though you've, you've multiplied the Christ, that seed, that seed that you've planted in the thoughts, in the mind, in the heart of that person now, begins now, the Father now begins to, begins to grow that seed. Because no, you, you are not the one to make the seed grow. Understand this. Ah, Jesus said, we are the tree. Jesus said, we are the tree, the branch of the tree. As we are doing this, we are feeding. We are feeding. As we are, every time, every time we are feeding, feeding. That, that thought and that desire, that thought, that desire, it begins to, begins to uh, uh, becomes growth. That thought and that desire, I want to be like this woman of God. It's a desire there. It's a desire there. Remember Matthew chapter 9. 
uh, 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 Jesus said to, uh, okay, Matthew 5, and Mark, and Mark 5 also, but now Matthew 9, I love you so much. When Jesus uh, called uh, uh, Levi, Matthew, and said, come, come with me. Come with me. Please don't worry, come, come and join my party, come. Come and be my disciple. You, you know, the man left and followed Jesus. The man was so humbled to see, to hear that Jesus actually see him as a good person. To him, he's been robbing people. He's been taking people. Well, that's collateral. But he doesn't know what the master eh, had planted in him. And the desire to follow the master. Now, growth now begins to come unto him. And for the master to silence his accuser, the master had to act. You know, when the Messiah ate, ate by his house, it was, it was not, it was not for, not because he was hungry. No, no, there's a message there. To silence the mouth of the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Because those are the law keeper, the law abider. And they know that these people, they are, they are criminals, they are thieves. They're not supposed to, to, to eat anything or to partake from anything. So now, so so when when Jesus was eating there, the Lord began to say to the other disciples, "Why is, is your master eating with 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 uh, people like this?" Jesus had to remind them, John, I you I have come to blind those. Who claim to see? When the, but the Matthew nine said, "I desire mercy rather than sacrifice." Mercy, I desire, rather than what sacrifice. Say, I love you, Jesus. Okay. I love you, Jesus. So when, when one humbled, humbled here as herself at the feet of the master, there is receiving there. Even people may people may laugh at you and people may, may call you names, but you are busy receiving. Matthew received what he never thought, what he never knew he was going to receive. And he was chosen because God chose him. God chose him to, to confront those who, who likes to keep and hold to law. Law was dealt with them. Why? There is no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. For the spirit of life set us free from the spirit of law and death. So there, so there is no glory in disobedience. There is only discomfort in disobedience. And not from the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit is pleasing when there's an obedience. You, you, you don't struggle to receive because there is obedience. Your obediency brings into intimacy to the Father. So it was Jesus' obediency that led to intimacy with Christ. He was asked to wait for 30 years, and 30 years he was obedient. No one knew the plan. Only Mary was told. And Jesus patiently waited. He was not in a hurry to go and start. He was not, when he was 25, he was not in a hurry to go. When he was 20, he was not in a hurry to go. He remained calm. 
He was not in the hurry to do whatsoever. He was so calm. Trust him in the obedience of the father. Obedience he had with the father. And at the fixed date, on the appointed day, he see us to be as the father said, the one that I've came to talk about you. Let him be the one to be the first to see you. And when John saw the same John that lived in, 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 in his mother's womb, when he just saw Jesus' tiny embryo, just by Mary greeting, John leaped. Now John saw what he, what he saw when he was in the mother's womb. Now he was, he was looking at it. Behold, the lamb. The lamb that have come to multiply himself on this earth. The lamb that has come to bear the fruit of this earth. To replenish, to fulfill the command of the father. The lamb has come. Behold, I'm looking at the lamb. John is speaking in a way his disciple cannot comprehend. But John is looking at what he's saying. And what he seeing was beholding. That he saw heaven open. That he saw spirit like dove. Coming, descending upon the shoulder of Jesus Christ. He heard the voice. He heard the voice. He heard the voice. Now listen to this. He still asked to send his disciples to go and inquire. Behaving like the ancestor are now. Behaving as Moses was, Moses did, behave as, as Noah did. Many will see God through dreams, through vision. Yet behave as if God never visited them. Was it necessary for him to go send his disciple to go and ask if there is another one to come? Having seen the glory, having be, having seen a, be, a beholding glory that got him to, to, uh, to a point that he was shocking, asking himself, oh, this is glorious. That he surrendered himself and said, no, 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 I cannot. I cannot. This was someone who said, I cannot. You must be the one. Because I'm not fit to untie your list. How come I'm fit to baptize you? He made a public confession. Because Jesus understands what obedience is. He said, let it be according as the Father have said. That's why he took the form of a servant because the father commanded him to take the form of a servant. There was no need for him to still wear the royal garment. No, no, become the servant. Uh, these people become to their lowest level. If I go lower than them, that they can come near to me. Look, that's why no one can love the way God loves. If God can cause his only begotten son to, be, to, to come so low so low that he was made a, a, a public spectacle, so low. Who, who can, who, can who, what kind of, where will you find that love? Except the one that carry the spirit of God in him or her. Such is the one that will behave in that manner because it is the same God that lives in them. That's why when they begin to do, it is no longer them, but the God that lives in them. So when people are speaking against you, people are speaking against God that dwells in you. Remember, the dwelling of God is in you. So when people are saying that you are not normal with what you're saying, no, no they just laugh. Uh, you know, you know, so it was, uh, I remember, I remember vividly, I remember early, early, early this year, uh, the, just before uh, the, the end of the third quarter of this year, um, um, there was a message that uh, our mother here, our prophet pastor, on that day was teaching. As she was hammering, it was on Facebook, as she was hammering, it comes a, a demon possessed person on, on this Facebook. As she was teaching, this man was peeling 
manifesting, manif you could see manifestation going in. And our, our attention was not even drawn there. No, the divine within that was dealing with this person. The divine within that was busy dealing with this person and this person was dealt with, dealt with. After that day, this person, I don't see this person. I'm, and I'm believing the person is repent, has repented. Because whenever, whenever she speaks, whenever she teaches, it's not her. I need to understand this. It's not her. It's Christ in her communicating. So when you are looking at a woman, you are making a mistake. You are sinning against God. Because God is not the God of gender. He is the God of one. <laughs> He's not a God of gender. He is a God of one. So it's very, very important. We want to keep in obedience. It, it, Holy Spirit will not, will not even have anything to do with one who does not obey. You have nothing in common with Holy Spirit. Jesus said it. I just quickly read it. John 8 there. John 8, start from verse 30. Eh? Listen to this. Many believed in him. Mm -hmm. Trusted. Trusted. Relied on. Relied on. And adhered to him. And adhered to him. So Jesus said to those Jews who had believed in him, mm -hmm. if you abide in my word, if you abide in my word, Hold fast to my teachings. Hold first to my teachings. And live in accordance with them. And live. This is it. If you abide. Hold first if you abide. See, abide if you if you live. If you live by this word. And who is the word? The same John, eh? chapter one. The same John chapter one, verse one. Say, in the beginning was the word. The word was God. The word was with was with God, and the word was Christ. Did you hear that now? John one verse one. Now he's saying, if you abide and live, hold on. And you become mine. You see, you, you not only become his, you become also with the one that sent him. Because him and the father now will now come and make a home, a living in you. That's why many people are fighting God. They think they are fighting uh, many people are fighting the same God they claim they know. Many people have been accusing and praying against the same God they think they are praying to. You see how confusing this people can be. You are praying, say, God, expose this person. Can God expose, can God violate his word? Can God violate his own word? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Can God violate his own word? Do you so much? Do you so much think in that manner that God is not a man that act like men? But the Bible says, "Man, every man lies." So, in order for us not to be like men, He needed to come and show on how not to be like men. Though He was from royal, but He took the form of a serpent. So to we men into what into the kingdom of light to stop being mortal and come into a mortal yet living like this. Continue. John chapter eight from verse thirty-one. So Jesus said to those Jews who had believed in him, if you abide in my word, 
Hold fast to my teachings. Hold fast to my teaching. And live in accordance with them. And live in accordance with them. You are truly my disciples. Mm -hmm. And you will know the truth. And you will know the truth. And the truth will set you free. And the truth will set you free. And you will know the truth. And it's the only word, the only truth that shall set you free. It's the truth that sets you free. No one knew the truth, but it still went to the ground when there is no freedom. When there is no freedom, it still went, start turning the ground. What was it doing? What was it doing in the ground? You saw, you saw Abraham was presented an opportunity to be blessed natural, from, from the natural ways. When the king said, I will offer you this, just give me this. Ah, 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 ah. Abraham said, hold it right there. Ah. Genesis 15 said, all the right thing. Lest you say you made Abraham rich. No. Lest you say now you begin to boast that it is you. You are the one responsible for this world. You are the one responsible for this glory. You are the one responsible for this life. No. I cannot share. I cannot give what belongs to the master. I cannot give or not share what belongs to the master with you. No. Do so you see? Honoring, true obedience. And God was pleased with such an act. God was pleased with such an act that he, he just came and dined with him. Imagine. Imagine having you happen to be the one that owes God in your home. Do you know? Do you know? Do you know just to have His presence? Not that His presence is not with you, because He lives in you. But now, Him coming in flesh, Him coming in flesh, coming with two angels. Come, let's go and eat. Let's just go and eat there. Let's, I just want to visit a divine matter. Just go. On. Can you be able to? Can you be able to see? How Abraham saw and said, if this house find favor, do not pass me by. 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 Pass me by. Why? It is God's intended purpose to prosper you in every way of your life. It is called intended purpose for you to become fruitful according to his will. It is called intended purpose for you to multiply his grace. His grace has come for this for multiplication to happen. His grace came, the Christ, Jesus came. So there will be multiplication. So there will be fruitfulness. So Jesus said, in matter of fact, I have not come to abolish, but to bring what Noah couldn't do, what Moses couldn't do, to bring it into fulfillment. To bring it into fulfillment. So as Jesus came, he gave birth to us, multiplication, as it was over, over 2,000 years ago, there is still multiplication going on, as God wills, as God intended. That's why, that's why uh, people, when people begin to say, when people begin to, I, I, I walked across a gentleman yesterday and he was telling me, uh, uh, you know what? It's a white man and he was telling me, um, so you know, this, this COVID is a man-made. I believe it's a man-made. I believe it's a man-made. I told him, even so, even so, man-made cannot just sit down and devise such, such uh, a virus that has wiped over, over, over what, over 20, 25 or 30 million uh, uh, population. 
is it possible I ask him what scientists say no it's true listen uh, uh, the so called permission from God <laughs> when God permits something to happen it will come true amen <laughs> Ooh, it was not God that permits Satan to go and, and try Job the Satan just woke up in the morning and begin to tempt uh, Job as if, he, as if he could God permitted him all the evil that happened upon Job was true, came from God, not from Satan. God allowed it. God allowed it. Read the Bible. God allowed it. So one that carried the word knows you carry God. And there is nothing Nothing can withstand the word, not the Bible, the word. When you carry the word, you carry the God himself in you. So, so it's, it's not about, it's not about the, uh, what can one uh, do uh, to be multiplied, uh, what can one do to become fruitful. No, it's about your obedience. If there is obedience, it leads to intimacy. And if there's intimacy, the grace for you to multiply comes in. It's the spirit that becomes active in you. It is the spirit that causes birth to happen within you. It is the spirit that causes you to become fruitful. It's the same spirit that will cause you to multiply. It is in the spirit of truth that sets free. I love you, Jesus. We are going to minister right now. Let's have yours. Um, we're going to continue tomorrow. We're going to continue tomorrow. Let's have yours. Uh, I, um, I thank God. I thank God. Uh, let's just uh, minister. Uh, let's just minister and uh, we'll, we'll continue tomorrow. We'll continue tomorrow. Uh, we uh, just, just allow the spirit of God to flow. And um, we'll, 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 we'll be continuing tomorrow. Uh, we're going to minister right now. Mr. Viewers, however, uh, I'd like to take this opportunity also uh, uh, to um, all right, let's minister first. Uh, let's minister first. This time. Amen. All right. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, we are blessed. We are highly blessed. We are highly blessed, highly blessed. Father Lord, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We thank you for your sons. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The word that has come upon all our sundry, upon every living soul, upon the life of every sundry all over the world. Those that are watching with us right now, those that will be watching on the letter note, the life, the light of God has come upon our body, upon our flesh, setting our body free. Every discomfort leave their bodies right now. Every discomfort depart right now by his root. Every worries right now depart by his root. All weaknesses in the body depart by his roots. At population right now, the parts, the parts by his roots in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every bony sensation in the legs right now, every spasm in the neck, every spasm in the waist right now, the parts, the parts in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every bony sensation on the left leg right now, the glory of the Lord has come upon your life right now. The glory of the Master has come upon your body right now. The glory of the Lord has come upon your body, upon your life right now, setting you free. Freedom has come upon your life. Freedom has come upon your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet right now. Every piercing in your chest right now, the word of the Lord has come upon your life right now. I pierce you where you are being pierced right now. Whatever you are being pierced you are in your chest right now, I pierce you by the sword of the spirit right now. Putting an end to that piercing right now. 
the sword of the spirit pierce you through, pierce you through right now into your chest, into your abdomen right now. Every difficulty in your lungs, in your lungs departs. Every pain in your lower abdomen departs from your body. Pains in your lower abdomen right now departs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The glory of the Lord has come upon your life. The glory of the Lord has come over your body. The life, the light of God has come penetrating. You are being penetrated right now with the life, the light of God. You are penetrated right now with the life, the light of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are penetrated right now with the life, the light of God from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, causing your body to prosper just as your soul prospers. It is the glory of the Lord that is at work in your life right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak right, right now into your body right now. I speak life into your body right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak life into your body right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I speak life, life light into your body. Joint problem right now, the parts. Moses saw right now, becomes normal in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bone back to bone right now. Artery back to artery. Muzzle back to muzzle. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Vein back to vein. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Cartilage back to cartilage right now. Your heartbeat begins to beat normal right now. Every abnormalities in your system, every abnormalities in your body, the part by its roots. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, all form of sickness, all form of fear, all form of diseases, every hold of infirmity over your life right now, you are being set free. I dip your body into the blood of Christ. I immerse your body right now into the blood of Christ, the blood that speaks a better message, the blood that washes brighter, the blood that washes and remove all stains, remove all, put an end to all manner of sickness, the blood that set free, the blood that breaks every yoke. I declare the blood of the glory of the Father upon your body, upon your life, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You are free from all ways of troubles. You are free from all ways of poverty. You are released right now from all rich fundamental troubles of life. You are being released from it right now. And as you are receiving, you are receiving for your loved ones. You are receiving for your family. You are receiving for your well wishers. As we are minister right now, all families member, every member of your family right now receive this grace. This is the grace of the abundancy, the unfailing grace of the Father. This is the grace that, no, no, that knows no hand. This is the unfailing grace from heaven, from above, that has come to perfect his will upon your body, upon your life. All imperfection departs from you. Imperfections depart from your ways. All imperfection failures depart. Failures are living your lives. Disappointment are living your lives. Setback are living your lives right now. There is no captivity that can help you bound right now for freedom, freedom itself. Freedom from the master. Freedom from the Messiah has come upon your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare you free. We declare you blessed. We declare you healed. We declare you delivered. Right now I'm praying, those families that are going through all kinds of issues right now, I declare the glory of the Lord upon that family. The life, the light of God has come upon that family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The life, the light of God has come upon that family, setting that family free. Lights that come to expose darkness. Darkness, you are no more. Darkness, you are no more. The temple right now, you are no more. You are exiting that temple. There is no hiding place for darkness. But the light that shines, the light, the life of God that shines away, that thunders away darkness has come. Lightning, every part, every crooked part we have been lightning right now. 
Every mountain of human obstacle has been lightened right now. The glory of the master has come to perfect his will. Life has come upon your life. Life has come upon your body. Your body is now being restored. Your life itself is restored right now. Your ways are restored right now. Your businesses are restored right now. Your ministry is restored right now. Your finances is restored right now. Your home is restored right now. Your marriage is restored right now. Your partner is restored right now in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Uh, before we continue, I uh, would like to ask if there's any prayer request. Uh, there's any prayer request on Facebook? Okay. Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, wonderful. Um, I will be handing over to. Uh, my 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 beautiful sister there. <laughs> uh, we are new verse for to her. Uh, I believe uh, she will be taking us through uh, giving message and uh, and salvation and just you know uh, close for us for the year uh, for for the last uh, Thursday service. Uh, so we're meeting tomorrow from uh, from I think from three. We we'll meet you tomorrow from three. Uh, uh, it's going to be our prayer and declaration and the message, uh, like you said, uh, continuation from from today, uh, this evening, this evening message, uh, the spirit of God direct the viewers. Um, uh, we thank God also. Uh, just permit me to quickly before I hand over to you, um, my beautiful sister. Let me just quickly. I just want to share uh, a quick testimony, blessed viewers. Um, we uh, we just came back from a family vacation on on. When, when do we come on Sunday? Uh, and um, uh, I, I got really sick. <laughs> I got really sick, and uh, uh, myself, my sister, and uh, and uh, I don't know what happened, but I trust, uh, I trust, I trust in our Father, and uh, and the Father. I on Sunday I, I was preparing to join Zoom when we got back. So just so weak all of a sudden to understand. But the father just just called for nowhere and, and minister and, and life came back to our body. And uh, on Monday and Tuesday, this thing came back with full force. And I did not even bother to pray. Or I didn't bother to pray. I did not even bother to even call any of my brother or sister to say pray. Why that word that the father called on Sunday, that was enough for me. My sister said, no, that word is enough for us. Ah. Surprisingly, um, yesterday, hey, yes, today but yesterday morning, this thing just ran, ran away. I could not do like, like I was, like I normally do yesterday. That's why you see our, 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 our <laughs> Our kids uh, handling everything yesterday. Um, but I, I, I'm, I thank God. I thank our Father Palestine Kodane. I uh, thank him so much. I used to stay. Uh, I don't blush about him. He's not a man. I don't see him as a man. He's Christ. I don't see him as a man. Uh, how he knew things that human minds do not know. You see, you don't begin. There are things that you can guess and you guess by luck. No. When it comes to things of the spirit, there is perfection. It's not knowledge, it's perfection. There is love. You see, you see um, uh, if, it's, if, it's, if it's knowledge, you see puffing up. But because it's love, there's a beauty there. So uh, I, I, I thank God for, for, I thank God for blessing us. Uh, all Rabbanites from all over the world, you are indeed a uh, 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 bless all Rabbanites from all over the world. You are blessed. We are all blessed to be fathered by such a, a wonderful, blessed father, uh, one that comes from above, one that uh, allows the Spirit of God to lead him as he wills. That's why 
anything that comes out of his mouth, I, I don't joke with it. I, I hold it on, I hold it so tight. I hold on to it. Uh, when you see me shouting, he go, he go, he is, well, he is that. It's not uh, 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 I'm trying to, uh, exalt. no, 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 he is that exactly. Because as loving, as simple, as caring he is, it is spirit that, that is uh, 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 with us all. So uh, I want to say I thank God for that. I, I believe they will read the testimony uh, during the course of the program tomorrow or maybe Saturday or Sunday. I don't know, but I've typed the mess, I've typed the uh, testimony. Uh, uh, the, uh, just as I was preparing to come on, 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 on Sunday, said he was preparing. So they just, it's a spirit. I, I, I fear, I fear, I fear, I fear, fear God. Men, I don't fear, but God, me, I fear God. And that one is a God that I fear. So I I, I want to say thank God. <laughs> and thank you so much, uh, blessed viewers. Uh, we'll meet again tomorrow. Uh, I'll be handing over now to our beautiful sister. Uh, I believe that... Uh, uh, Brother, Brother Colin, uh, I believe, I believe uh, Brother Colin is still with us. I believe her uh, sister Divine, uh, Divine Martha, she's with us. Uh, and on Facebook also, uh, I believe our brothers and sisters also, they are still with us on Facebook. Um, um, we like to appreciate everyone through the course of uh, 2021. Uh, we, we, I think it was in the third quarter of the year, we began with the Zoom service and we went off from it and we came back with it and we, and we, trust, we are trusting God that uh, it will remain this way until when God permits us to go back to structure. Uh, we want, if, if God, if God says let's continue with Zoom, we continue with Zoom, we'll continue Zooming and we'll continue fellowshipping. Uh, nothing will limit the grace of God, nothing will stop God from performing in His word in His life. So everyone that has been uh, 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 coming, fellowshipping together with us, we appreciate you, we thank you, we honor you. Uh, uh, thank you for the sympathetic cooperation. Uh, thank you for, uh, uh, for praying for us. Many of you pray for us. We, we see your prayers and we feel your prayers and uh, uh, we see you in spirit also. So we thank you so much for praying for us also. We appreciate those prayers as you continue to pray for me, and our brothers and our sisters, uh, I remember I'm not alone. Yes, yeah, you, yeah, there you see, you see her there. Uh, we are together holding hands. Uh, uh, she's she's my uncle, as as I'm my own uncle. Uh, there's also a, a Prophet Raymond Mkanzi there. There's also a Raphael Michael, and as you know, there's also Zuktani. Yes, there's, there's a whole lot of us, you know, and uh, we are all sons of our father. And you too, you are. We are together, together in one. So do, do not, uh, you see, don't look short on yourself. Don't see yourself as if, uh, when, we, when will you be seen? You already seen. Just allow yourself, uh, humble yourself and allow God to say your time has come. That is obediency. That's how you can multiply. That's how you can become fruitful. Obediency is the key. So um, I, I like to appreciate each and every one of you. Uh, 2021, the year of the revealing and rest is revealed unto us. Uh, it's a wonderful year. Uh, it is, it's been great, gracious to each and every one of us. I believe so. Uh, uh, we've lost and we've gained. And I want to say we gain the more. We gain the more. So we consider everything rubbish because uh, what we're looking at is not what we are saying. Uh, we're looking at what is unseen. And what is unseen is what is in our heart. And what is in our heart, we can your eye can see what is in the heart. When you when you press your eye, press your eye on your on your chest, you can see what is in your heart. Even if even if you go to the medic and they, they do some scan and they do, scan can only show you what scan can show, but scan will not show what is inside that heart. Scan cannot show you what is inside the heart. So we we bless God, we thank God, and God remain God. God is faithful. God is love. So uh, we'll meet again tomorrow. I believe um, I believe um, uh, there's a lot there's there's a lot to be said, but uh, God will take control. So right now I'm handing over to our beautiful sister. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, 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 we are humbled. We are blessed. 
thank you for uh, for, for being here. Thank you so much. Uh, seeing you is strengthening us. So uh, we bless God. Uh, we remain one with the family. We are all family. Uh, every one of us here will remain one family. Uh, blessed viewers from all over the world. Uh, we are family not by language, not by ethnicity, uh, but by the DNA of our father, Papa Lesekudane, which is love. That is what made us family. So we are family. Amen. Hallelujah. Over to you. Over to you. Over to you, man. Thank you, man. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you so much, Spirit of our Father. Hallelujah. When we have seen you, we have seen the Father. <laughs> we thank God. We thank God so much for the teachings. We thank God for everything, the fellowship. Hallelujah. The fellowship from above. We thank God so much, man of God. I greet you together with the family our mother there and the generals we are doing a very good job hallelujah by leading us here on zoom hallelujah so i greet you all those who are on zoom our brother there colin and the divine martha hallelujah divine martha so we thank god we thank god for your fellowship let us continue to be together as the sons of our father it shows that we are from the same womb Hallelujah. So there's no way we can fight each other because we are from the same father. So we thank God, blessed viewers. I believe you are blessed with the way that we received this afternoon. Uh, the man of God has given us a lot. Hallelujah. So make sure that you live according to the way that you received. If you don't live according to the way, you're going to be judged according to the way that you received. Hallelujah. So God will be asking you, what have you done with the way that you received? So we receive a lot. So let us make sure that whatever that we receive from above, we use it for the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. So I don't know, the man of God said I must take the offering. Hallelujah. I'm here to search you, blessed viewers. <laughs> I'm here to put my hand inside your pockets without choice. Just allow me as God has sent me to do that, hallelujah. So God loves you, blessed viewer. So God does not want us to have the love of anything else, hallelujah. So even when, when God is speaking about um, the tithing and the giving, he is just dealing with our hearts, hallelujah. That is why we see Luke chapter six from verse 38, it speaks about give and given back to you, hallelujah. So whatever that you are giving, it will be given back to you. It will return back to you. Hallelujah. So it shows that God does not want your money or your possession. He, he only wants to separate you with the love of the material things. Hallelujah. So in the book of um, Matthew chapter 19, we see the Lord Jesus Christ meeting another general there. Hallelujah. So that general, I love him because he came with a question and say, Master, what, what must I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? Hallelujah. It's a good question. Many when they come to church, they come to receive, to receive. If the man of God can just speak to me, if he can just prophesy me, then I'm okay. I know that my things will go right. Hallelujah. But this general came to the Lord Jesus Christ asking him, how, what must I do to inherit the kingdom of heaven? Hallelujah. So the Lord Jesus Christ said, okay, go and uh, do this and that. Hallelujah. Do not steal, do not murder, do not do this and that. He was speaking to him according to the law that he is observing. Hallelujah. And then later that man said, no, I have done everything since I was young. I was living like that, meaning he was observing the, the law. Hallelujah. So then later the Lord just said, okay, you have to all doing do all those things all along. So now go and sell, go and sell whatever that you have. Hallelujah. It's a difficult thing now. Hallelujah. So go and sell everything, your, your possessions. And after that, take the money and give it to the poor. You don't possess that money. You sell and you give it to the poor. So it was a hard for that man. He was very hurt because of, of that. So now God wants to separate us with anything, the love of him. 
Hallelujah, hallelujah. Many people, when they come to church, they come for, I, I, I receive, I receive, I receive. You receive everything, even the things that are bad for you, you just receive, hallelujah. Because people love impartation. Oh, man of God, just impart. Man of God, if you can just say a word to me, hallelujah. So the greatest word the man of God has already given us, hallelujah. So right now, it's time for, for giving, blessed you are. Separate yourself with the love of anything, hallelujah. Uh, one day when I was teaching, I said, money can contaminate your mind so that you cannot hear the presence of God in your life. Hallelujah. Money can contaminate your mind. Hallelujah. Separate everything. Be separated with everything that contaminates you. Hallelujah. Our Father is always teaching us about uh, separating with a uh, wrong connection. The wrong connection can start first with your possessions, the things that God has blessed you with. Hallelujah. So when you look at them with that love, that still, like, like the love that steals your love from God, hallelujah, or from loving God, hallelujah. So that is why the Lord Jesus Christ says, if you love your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, your child more than me, you're not worthy of my intimacy, hallelujah. So this shows that God wants to separate us with anything that we love so that we can gain his fullness, his abundance. Hallelujah, be said, yes, hallelujah. So now, when you have the abundance of God, you have everything. You don't lack anything. Hallelujah, hallelujah. So, so uh, God can cause you, or you may look poor before the people, whereas you inherit the kingdom. You inherit the abundance of God. Hallelujah. So let me read James chapter 2, number 5. Hallelujah. It says, I'm using the Amplified Bible. Hallelujah. It says, listen, my beloved brethren, has not God chosen those who are poor in the eyes of the world to be rich in faith? Hallelujah. So to the world, you may look like you are you're poor. Hallelujah. And when we give, we don't give because we see people suffering. You give according to the command of God. Hallelujah. So we see um, uh, two men there in, in the book of Genesis chapter 4, Hallelujah. Cain and Abel. So they come, they, they, they bring their, their offerings to God, their sacrifices. But when God looked at the sacrifice of Cain, he realized that this sacrifice is not from the heart. Hallelujah. Because the word of God says he took some of, of, of the things that he, he brought to God. He took some, meaning he left some of the things. So he brought what is not pleasing according to the heart of God. So after immediately after God has blessed or God has accepted the gift of Abel, then uh, something entered him, the spirit, he allowed the spirit to enter him, the spirit of, of jealousy, hallelujah, that spirit ended up causing him to kill his brother, hallelujah, so if you are not doing the right thing, hallelujah, in your giving, you are opening a door for the enemy, hallelujah, one day when I was praying for one of the generals, uh, I believe it was 2019, so the demon said, okay, you taught them about uh, giving and the uh, thing. So this one, she do, he does not give according to the, the, the tithing. It means he is not bringing the whole tithe, hallelujah, the 10th percent, hallelujah. So now the demon said, we enter to him because of that. So let me tell you, blessed you are, if, if you are supposed to, to give, let's say 100 rand, then you have a meeting with your heart. I don't know with your heart or with the devil. So the devil says, no, you cannot give the whole 100 rand. Just give a, a 90 rand. Use the 10 rand there. So in that meeting, you are busy opening the door for the enemy to attack you. Hallelujah. Many were attacked because of allowing the devil to preach to them. Hallelujah. When coming to, 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 to giving. Hallelujah. You, you are earning a very beautiful salary. Instead of giving the real uh, attacking there, or more than that, as our father taught us that if you reach the maturity, you can give even more than your, your 10%. So, so now you are earning a very beautiful salary, but you allow the devil to preach to you before you can give your tithing. Hallelujah. So by, so by doing that, you are allowing the, the attacks to enter you. That is why some, 
they don't see the blessings of God upon their lives. So when, when God is, is promising us in uh, Malachi chapter 3 from verse 10, he says, if you give your 10% and your offerings, he will open the door in heaven. Hallelujah. Showering you with those blessings that you cannot have any room to place them. That is the word of God. You cannot change it. Hallelujah. The only thing, just be faithful to what God has given you. Hallelujah. So in Luke chapter 6, verse 38, when he say, uh, um, give so that it can be given back unto you. So, so there is a, the pressing down there, hallelujah. There is a, the feeling there where God is pressing the things that you are, you are, you are, uh, you are, you are giving there, hallelujah. So he presses it down, he shake it so that he can pour more, hallelujah. So we give ourselves reasons when coming to offerings and, and, and tithing, hallelujah. That is why we don't see the, 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 the blessings of God to the fullest in our lives because we are robbing ourselves, hallelujah. I always say that when you rob God uh, in your tithing, you are robbing yourself from getting those blessings. God has already declared, has already spoken about your blessings, that if you bring your tithe, if you bring your offerings, I will open the windows of heaven and shower you with those blessings. So, so if you don't give according to the command of God, you're robbing yourself, you're not robbing God <laughs> because God does not like money. Hallelujah. So he's just dealing with your heart. Hallelujah. The love of money. He's removing it. And when you have reached that level of, of um, not dealing with your heart, removing the love of money, then even when you give, you don't even feel it. Hallelujah. You don't feel it. You don't feel the pain of giving out. Hallelujah. So God loves you. Blessed you are. I believe you are busy giving. Busy giving. Hallelujah to uh, Rabbanai International Ministries. Hallelujah. Um, I believe that the numbers are there. You can call the men of God and the women of God. Ask them the, 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 their account numbers there. If you don't want to ask them, hallelujah, you want to surprise them. There is something we call a cash send. <laughs> that one you don't call anyone. You just do the cash send. It will send the message to them and they will do the right thing. <laughs> Hallelujah, blessed be us. Hallelujah. So just send, just, just send. Don't question them. Don't say, oh, man, of, man of God, I want your account. If you say so, so you're, 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 you are letting him to know that you're giving. So just send the case, send there. Hallelujah. And he will get the whole amount. Hallelujah. Without any charges. Hallelujah. So we thank God, blessed you are. Let us give according to the command of God. There is a blessing. God has declared it already, hallelujah. Those who are giving right now, the hand of the Lord is upon you, even those who are still thinking about giving. But don't allow the devil to rob you. Don't allow the devil to change your mind, hallelujah. So the hand of the Lord is upon you. He's blessing you more right now. He's opening that door in heaven, showering you together with your family in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will send a testimony. I'm telling you, when you read it, you can go and read it. My life was three from verse eight there. You are robbing me, you are cheating me. Hallelujah. So when you continue to read today, it says, try it. Hallelujah. Put me into tests. If you don't believe that I'm, 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 I'm teaching right now, go and test God. Go and try it, and you will see. Hallelujah. So we thank God. Blessed you. We thank God. Man of God, thank you so much for everything. We thank God for um, allowing us to be together for the rest of the year. Hallelujah. I came here not thinking that I will speak because my voice is down today. Hallelujah. So we thank God for the fellowship, everything, the prayers. Hallelujah. So we really appreciate your love as the apostle of love. Hallelujah. We thank God. We thank God so much uh, together with your family. Whatever that is happening there, we can see your family, even if we don't see them there. We can see that they are busy with you. They are working together with you. That is why we are seeing the beauty of the Father. Hallelujah. We thank God. I really thank God. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. <laughs> Amen. As I'm handing over to my Father. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's clap for Jesus. Let's clap for our master. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. Uh, we thank God for that beautiful, beautiful uh, message of giving. Uh, 
it's an encouraging one. Uh, it's also a, a command that uh, I want you to uh, obey and keep to. Uh, that's a wonderful message from, from our mother there, uh, Prophet Pastor Onani and Daniel. Uh, you can find her on the Fountain of Worship Center Ministries. Uh, she's everyday present, full of the Spirit of God. Uh, we thank her so much. Uh, blessed viewers, uh, for those of you uh, who want to give your life to God, uh, those of you who want to reconcile back to the Master, it is of importance that um, you uh, you give your life to Him. In order for you to have His fullness, you cannot give. You cannot have if you do not give. In order for you to have, you must give. Give yourself so to have His fullness. I say, I have come that you may have. So what he has come to give you, for you to have it, you must also give yourself. Giving yourself is surrendering yourself. Where it is no longer about your will, about your emotion, about your thought, but about him in you. When it, when it, when it's, when it's, uh, it's like become your priority, become your consign. That's where you live for him. We are not living for anything except the Christ. It's supposed to say, I resort to know nothing. I resort, first Corinthians will say, I resort to know nothing except the Christ crucifixion, except that. Whether you are what, whether you are that, you resort to know what is interested in is the Christ, the Christ in you, because the Christ in you is the hope of glory. So, in order for one to experience such, one must confess the Master. One must have the master to live in him or her. So you want to reconcile back to the master. You want to be reconnected back to him. You want to, you want to give yourself to him. Or, or, or there are people that you are thinking of. Each one, God has committed everyone to have, have to make choice. Because everyone must make the salvation with their mouth. But you can help that fellow by praying and intercede for that fellow through the, this prayer of salvation also. You are praying for that fellow, a friend, a sister, a brother. You call the name of that person. You are interceding for that person. Every word, word of God, the word of God, Every word of God is spirit, is alive, and is active. So join us as we say this confession together. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. Lord Jesus, I come before your presence. I humble myself before you. And I confess my sins before you. I know sin is unrighteous. And it's not pleasant to you. I am a sinner. And I come before you and plead for your mercy. Wash me with your precious blood that I may be white in the snow. Lord Jesus, I thank you. You came down on it and you laid down your life for me to receive you, to receive life of fullness and abundance. You rose up on the third day and you give me the perfect life. The sin is gone. The sin has no more hold over my life. For your life is the life that I live in. It is the life that I live in. It is the life of perfection. Thank you for forgiving me. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for the forgiveness. Sin no longer has hold over my life. For it is over with sin. It is over with the nature of sin. It is over with the garment of sin. I put on the new garment. The one that you have presented for me. The one that you have made for me. The one that you have chosen for me. Lord Jesus, I give you thanks. Thank you. For now, my name is written in the book of life. And I'm no longer a sinner. I am no longer a sinner. I'm now a born again. And the old 
is indeed done in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Blessed be us. Indeed, the old is gone. Uh, the garment of sin is no more. The yank has been taken off you. Uh, let no one condemn you. Listen to this. Apostle Paul says in Romans chapter 8, he said, Say, therefore, now there is now no condemnation, no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus. There is no a judging guilt. There is no one that can condemn you of your action of from yesterday, of your or from your action of three hours ago. It is gone, it is over, it is past. The new has come, and you are now a new creation. You are now born again, and the old is gone. So welcome you. Let's welcome the new comment. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, bless of you. Uh, let's meet tomorrow from 3 p.m. Uh, as we've said, uh, we'll be praying into tomorrow uh, with, with a short message. Then we will join uh, our Father from 5 p.m. into the first day of uh, 2022. Yet uh, comes, uh, yet, yet, yet to an end, we are uh, ending finale of, um, it is an ending of our Thursday administration. Uh, next week, Thursday, will be, we are, before we meet there, we will have been saying Happy New Year, of course. <laughs> but uh, our first Thursday of the day, uh, uh, we'll be sending a message uh, as to uh, new meetings of, uh, of our service. Uh, I believe uh, 2022 is going to be a wonderful year. Uh, uh, and we cannot wait uh, to see how it will unfold right, right before our eyes. Uh, all glory, all glory belongs to our Savior, our Master, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we continue to say Benizar to His holy name. Uh, thank you so much, uh, my brothers and sisters from all over the world. Uh, we thank our Father, Papa Lesekodane, uh, who have caused this love to remain in our hearts, in our minds, in our soul, in our spirit forever. It's an eternal love, uh, and we we thank God uh, for 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 COVID nineteen. Uh, blessed viewers, um, you see, uh, many people see it as a, as division. Uh, many people see it as a, as obstacles. Uh, many people see it as a, as something that has come to yes, uh, it it mm -hmm. it came to do what it was sent to do. Okay, it was sent to come and do something after all. So, but those but those listen to this. I don't want you to hear hear me and begin to begin to say what am I doing. Those who are in the Lord, those who are in the Lord, you that you are in the Lord, you that you are in the Lord, it will pass. Remember, it's not the first time God permits such thing. I need to understand Exodus 3. A plague, virus, it came. This same corona came. It came. And God told Moses, stay in your home. Make a, 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 a signpost on every doorpost of those that are mine. Hey. So we, we trust God. Um, we continue to abide by the instruction by our Father. We continue to do the on our forehead. We continue to partake in the body and in the blood. We continue to be nourished by the blood that speaks a better message and the body that, that never decomposes. So we are in every way stronger. We are in every way remain in the Father. We are in every way remain in the world where we are rooted in. So, uh, and, and through this, we've come to, uh, uh, to be, uh, we've come to even know uh, God all the more and grow spiritually, you know, and not, not even grow, grow spritually. Even fellowshipping becomes uh, uh, the, the, it becomes our daily part of life. Who would have thought that uh, uh, we will have we will be having four 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 service uh, uh, per week? We never we never uh, we never even had it in our uh, in our thoughts. Uh, but yet here we are, and and uh, we, we even want more. <laughs> so uh, uh, we just have to keep thanking God because uh, uh, it's mercy and new every day. I love that song. It's mercy and new every every morning. Every morning is mercy and new. So uh, we want to say thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, we thank God for our lives. Uh, let's meet again tomorrow as we go on uh, from 3 p.m. We will continue there. 
and we, and we follow the spirit of God direct. Uh, from us to you, it is to God be the glory. Uh, everyone on Facebook, you are appreciated. We love you. We love you on Facebook. We love you. We are family. We remain one for one, one in all. We remain one for Christ. We remain one. We are bestowed to one husband. We remain one husband in Christ. So thank you so much, uh, everyone. Uh, God loves you. God is with you. Remain blessed. So God be the glory.